what is up guys and welcome back to the channel it's called G here so today we've got a pair of Loke Overton shoes these are pretty heavily trashed the guy has been wearing these for a good few years and all the stitching is broken so best time to get these resold so we're going to be ripping it all off doing the executive leather resole you want to see how it turns out you know what to do What's up guys? So welcome back all those subscribers and if you're new to the channel, welcome! We're going to be starting the breakdown process on these lokes. Starting off with ripping off the old heel block and the old sole, seeing what's going on in the inside and then building that back up. So stay tuned to see how it's done. Alright, oh, let's take this off. So this is the original heel block and it's the original sole. So these are the first time that these have been worked on. So we'll just take off this old top lift here. carefully remove this old heel block. This is one of Lokes 1880 range, so these have nice leather stacked heel blocks. So we're going to be reusing that if we can. snip off these old nails that we've got here it makes them a little bit easier to remove Clean out all this old cork area. As you can see there's a wee bit of his foot impression here, the big toe, that's where it sits there. See it poking through a little bit.
we're just going to hammer through these old nails here and pull them through from where the heel is. Okay, that's the shoe all broken down. Everything on the inside is fine, shank's in good condition and the well has no issues at all, no stitching coming away or anything. So now we're just going to pop in some fresh cork. This will just fill the cavity that we've got here and then we'll smooth it nice and flat, ready for a new sole to pop on top. Now we don't want to compress this in too much because once the sole comes on top it's going to squish down and probably make the inside of the shoe a little bit smaller. So we just want a nice thin coat, even coat all the way over the shoe here. Now we'll just leave that to dry. So we're going to heat this sole up, reactivate the glue, ready to pop it on the shoe. Hammer poor and I don't know it. Sole's heated up, activated the glue again, so let's get this sole popped on. Okay guys, so the sole is all trimmed to contour the shoe. This guy's asked to put on some Vibram sole guards just to protect the leather and give some more longer life to the shoes. So we're going to be popping these on now. Just going to make a little score mark for the knife. We're just going to trim this and rough this area up on the machine, ready for the sole to stick to it.
Okay, that's the sole all nice and warm, heated up. I'm just going to stick this on there. And roll. Right, let's get groovy guys. We're going to be using the groover tool here just to run a channel all the way around the shoe here, ready for the stitching to lie in. Now we're going to take out this top piece here just for the toe plate to sit in. So we're just going to cut out this rubber vibram sole part here and then stick it in and screw it back in. Alright, let's get these heel blocks attached now.
Okay, so a wee bit decoration. We've popped some fudging down the sides, along where the soul guard attaches, and a little arc fudge over here. So I'm just going to pop in a couple of brass nails, just for more decoration, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And some buttress nails just to secure the heel block even further. Okay guys, that's just done with another project. I think these came out really, really nice. So for these, we ripped everything off. We done an executive leather sole, and then we popped on some Fibrum sole guards and heel just to extend the life of the shoe. A little Triumph toe plate as well, to also extend the life of the toes. Some brass nails for decoration and some fudging around the sides. Yeah, so drop a little comment, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Okay guys, until the next one, peace.